Good day learners, this is Easy Engineering. For today's topic, we are going to talk about atmospheric pressure, absolute pressure, and gauge pressure. On our previous video, we already discussed about pressure and fluid pressure. If you haven't watched the video, you can find it here on our channel. So before jumping to our main topic, let's take a quick recap about pressure and fluid pressure. Pressure is simply defined as the force over a given area. And fluid pressure is a measurement of the force per unit area on an object in the fluid or on the surface of a closed container. And the formula of fluid pressure is density times the gravity times the height. So that's the quick recap of pressure and pressure fluid. Now let's go to our topic for today. Let's discuss first the atmospheric pressure. So what is atmospheric pressure? Atmospheric pressure is defined as the force per unit area exerted against the surface by the weight of the air above that surface. To make it simple, atmospheric pressure is just the pressure exerted by the air. The standard atmospheric pressure which is denoted as ETM is equal to 101,325 pascals. Atmospheric pressure also acts in every direction and not only in the downward direction. For example, you have a 2 meters by 2 meters table with atmospheric pressure of 101,325 pascal. So if you're asking why the table didn't collapse even though it has that big pressure. As what I have said a while ago, atmospheric pressure acts in every direction and not only in downward direction. So if there is force pushing on the downward pressure, there also same force pushing on the upward direction. So the force is balanced. That's why the table didn't collapse. Let's try solving this problem. What is the force exerted by at the atmosphere over area of 15 meters by 20 meters at sea level? So let's recall the formula of pressure. Pressure is equal to force divided by area. And the problem is asking for the force. So by deriving the formula, we can get the formula of force which force is equal to atmospheric pressure times the area. Now as what I said earlier, the standard atmospheric pressure is equal to 101,325 Pascal. Also, Pascal is equal to Newton per square meter. So we can write the atmospheric pressure as 101,325 Newton per square meter. Now the area is length times the width. So the area is 300 square meter. Plug in these values to the formula and the force will be equal to 30,397,500 Newton. This is the weight of the air above that surface. So that's the concept of atmospheric pressure. Now let's discuss the absolute pressure and gauge pressure. What is the difference of absolute pressure and gauge pressure? Basically, gauge pressure is the difference between the total pressure and the atmospheric pressure while the absolute pressure is the sum of atmospheric pressure and the gauge pressure so by the definition we can conclude that the equation of gauge pressure and absolute pressure is this so if you have a storage tank with a pressure of 0.8 atm at sea level what is the gauge pressure inside the tank as what I discussed earlier, standard unit of atmospheric pressure is 1 atm which is equal to 101,325 pascal. But since the total pressure given in the problem is in atm, therefore we will use 1 atm. So the gauge pressure is negative 0.2 atm. Negative gauge pressure means that the absolute pressure inside the tank is less than the atmospheric pressure. Positive gauge pressure means that the absolute pressure inside the tank is above the atmospheric pressure. Now for the second example, suppose you have a tire with a gauge pressure of 300,000 Pascal. What is the absolute pressure inside the tire at sea level? So what is the formula of absolute pressure? That's right, absolute pressure is equal to atmospheric pressure plus the great gauge pressure. So now you have a gauge pressure which is 300,000 Pascal and atmospheric pressure of 101,325 Pascal. Therefore, the absolute pressure is 
401,325 Pascal. So always remember these formulas. Also don't forget that 1 DTM is equal to 101,325 Pascal. Now try to answer this problem on your own. Post this video and try to answer it and let's see if we have the same answer. A man goes to Palawan and tries scuba diving. The man dives and now he is located at a depth of 50 meters in the ocean. What are the gauge pressure and the absolute pressure? If the density of the seawater is 125 kilogram per cubic meter. Now did you answer the problem? Now let's see if we have the same answer. First, let's identify the given in the problem and what is as in the problem. So, a height of 50 meters and a density of 1025 kilogram per cubic meter are given in the problem. Now, do you still remember the formula of fluid pressure? So, fluid pressure is equal to the density times the gravity times the height. We can use this formula in getting the gauge pressure since the man is in the water. So now that we have a gauge pressure of 502,250 Pascal, we can now solve the absolute pressure. So the absolute pressure is 603,575. Do we have the same answer? It is easy, right? That's it guys. I hope you learned a lot about atmospheric, gauge, and absolute pressure. You can also watch our other video tutorials here in our channel. Once again, this is Easy Engineering. We make engineering topics easy and fun for you.